So how much do you make, or more importantly, how much do you want to make? One company claims to have created the salary guide to life, breaking down strategies for successful salaries in your 20s, 30s, 40s, even 50s. But leave it to us to break it down and hash it out. It is our money talker. We've got career and life coach Maggie Mistel. She gives out this, this kind of information advice all the time. Luxury real estate advisor Jarrett Guy Randolph, who is just so money and always <laughs> dealing with money and has very strong opinions on this matter. We also have Mary Claire Magazine's Leah Goldman as well. Um, Maggie, let me start with you. So you don't agree with this guide. How come? No, because I'm often fighting this idea that money is the focus of our careers. You know, most people choose their careers based on the money they can make or the hot jobs. What's the, wrong with that? Job. What if you don't like it? I, I chose my accounting degree. I have my CPA, by the way. Yeah. But when I did the job, I hated it. And was I a bad CPA for it? Yes. You know, ultimately, it's self-defeating when you make money the main focus. It can be one of them, but it can't be the only one. You guys agree with that? Well, you know, I, I, I just, I, I look at it this way. Stop being poor. You should have a trust fund. Your parents should pay for everything. You shouldn't have to work hard for anything. The, 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 the truth is, I don't have a trust fund, so that was yeah. a joke. Um, it's about financial responsibility. And a lot of people ask me, why is the New York market so strong? Because you're required to be financially responsible in the marketplace. So there's three key things which help you to be responsible with money. First of all, save your money. Don't buy crap that you don't need. Say, you, that's what they say in the 20s. This guide says, in your 20s, save it like crazy, take charge. Um, consider your industry carefully and have a plan. You know, I'm just going to jump right in. Ahead, My beef with this whole guide is that it's same old, same old. You've heard it all before. And what it overlooks is the idea that you should negotiate, so especially if you're a woman. The assumption is that you're going to take whatever they give you, whether you're starting out, first job, whatever, and you say, oh, I'm so grateful for that $40,000 a year job. Don't be grateful. Ask for 45. Ask for 50. You're probably going to get it. And now, that's, an incredible, that's an incredible calculated risk. And you have to take those type of calculated risks to be able to advance in your career. It's not a calculated risk when you're in the, when the right career for you when you are damn good at what you do right you get mm -hmm. to be on wonderful right. shows like this because you're really good right. at what Very you do true. right and they will make exceptions for you but you can ask for what you want but sometimes don't, it's you say, a demand it. don't you say don't hold out for the right job well the thing is is sometimes it's a process of elimination you might go into a career field that you don't enjoy I've actually been in real estate and other than that I worked at Meglio's as a busboy for one of my friends dads in my hometown but other than that I've been in real estate so I lucked out I enjoy what I've done I've enjoyed it Not from lucky. day one okay. but there are other people that sometimes you have to start in one career path realize it's not what you want to do and move on to the next you can't always feel entitled just to fall but into I don't, I mean, you're talking the right about career moving path. around between careers i mean I, I don't know if you've spent a lot of money getting a degree this is what you're trained for I don't, do you have, the, if you want to but make you money, do you have the luxury of shopping around into different You fields? should, you absolutely should be shopping around. Average job these days is two to four years. It's a, it's a different, it's a different scene than it was for our parents where they had job security. They could account for a job for the duration of their careers. Not anymore. But don't you, you have should to be bouncing around. make more money? I mean, if you're only in a job for two to four years, how do you build up and up and up and get the raises within that job? You're kind of always starting over. No, your skills transfer. That's the thing that most people recognize. I say I wasn't a great CPA, but understanding business I take with me. I'm my own business owner now and I can read my own financial statements. Yeah. Just because if you get a degree somewhere, there's a good reason for that. You can take that knowledge with you and, and actually use it in a way that inspires you and inspires others and, and makes a difference. One of the most controversial things I read in the study was it was talking about um, in your 30s. It said, watch for opportunities, volunteer, don't check out. Don't fall out of the workplace when you have children. It happens all Ooh, too often. I mean, that's fighting words we hear for a it, lot of people. We hear it so often, all the time. Women are scale leaning back because they, they can't handle the juggle. But I think that's going to change. In 10 years, you're going to see a total demographic revolution. Why? Because women are marrying later, because they're opting not to marry at all. And so this tapering off that you see of their career and their income is not going to happen because they're just going to keep plowing forward. They don't have the juggle to contend but with. But you have, as women today, we have a lot more options for staying involved in our career than people or your parents and grandparents did. I mean, you can stay involved in your career and stay home with your children. It doesn't have to be this either. Or. A, I have a young son, and I'm still very active in my career. But there are in very active in there in It's a competitive workplace. Yes. It's a very I mean, competitive yes. workplace. That's why you have to focus on your on talent, though, and your passion, what you're good at. Because if this is a struggle for you, if you're having trouble getting out of bed in the morning and you don't have kids and you don't have all these other things, when you do, you're not going to want to leave your child at home to go to a job you don't like. I but think that's, that's also what's an mentality. We Sometimes you have to work a job to provide for your child, so you can't always fall you into can be making the trade away is okay. you work it, work okay. it. Great, right. great job, you guys. Thank you I'm so convinced. much. Coming up, it is the Super Bowl.